short story. Another day, another life, and yet more questions? By Saberman Carter. But who am I really, and how did I get here? I went to sleep in one gender and woke up in another. I was born male November 1952. I've just had my 62nd birthday, I'd been on Facebook. And someone asked, what would it be like to wake up in another gender? She said it was just a bit of fun. Little did I know that in a few short hours, I would find out for myself, firsthand what it was like. It was 1 a.m. in the middle of the night when I went to bed, when my 62-year-old male frame hit the pillow, I was out like a light. Fortunately I was off work that week, so there was nothing to worry about. However when I woke up to go to the toilet in the morning, my clothing no longer fitted. My underpants were now too baggy, they started to fall down as soon as I started to move, they were too big. When I got into the bathroom, I looked in the mirror, I no longer looked like the middle-aged fat man I was. The one who had had a receding hairline the night before. When I looked in the bathroom mirror at my face, I didn't recognize the face that was staring back at me. The mirror also showed me that I had two fully formed breasts. I raised my hands up to cup the firm breasts, thinking what else was changed, I looked down below. No penis. Wow, now that's interesting, I thought to myself, so I took a second look. Definitely no penis. Shock horror and a few expletives later. Fuck, 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 fuck. Of course I examined myself as you do, and no I couldn't see my penis, and I couldn't feel a penis either. So how was I going to explain this to my wife? I climbed back into bed and wondered what I was going to tell her, it was as if, I was now my own daughter's age, I was 25 again. Somehow it was as if I had wiped 37 years off my life. I started to panic, I would have to make an appointment at the doctor's. Would anyone believe me? Was it reversible? Was I going to be stuck in this form until the day I died? God or whoever was giving me the chance to see, how I would react as a woman. I would have to change my title, from Mr. to Miss. I thought it would be simple but, the more I thought about it, the more complicated it was becoming. Would the bank stop me using my credit and debit cards? What would the reaction be at work? When an attractive young woman, walked into the locker room. My boat is well and truly sunk. My low masculine voice was now a few octaves higher in pitch, I knew the expressions on the faces at work would be strange. When I first walked back into the locker room, how would I explain this to the guys I work with, Steve would have to become Stephanie. I realized that my safety clothing would no longer fit. Going to work on my bike would be awkward because the crossbar would now be too high, I would need to buy a woman's bike. There was one good thing about this body change, that I hadn't thought about. I no longer needed glasses, now that was a plus, I thought to myself with a wry smile. I'd need a new passport. Sanitary towels would be a must every month. Not to mention bras and matching panties. Complete new outfits and shoes. Oh the shoes. All the shoes I had were now too big, would I need a new home? How do I explain this to my 25-year-old daughter, that dad no longer exists? Suddenly I would be a non-person, I have no birth certificate for Stephanie, my national insurance number, and all my pensions belonged to Steve, and Steve no longer exists, I got laughed out of the doctor's surgery, they didn't believe me, they examined me, but couldn't find anything to suggest what had happened or why it had happened. There was nothing in the medical records to even say it had ever happened before. I suggested that they take samples of my DNA but there was no record of my DNA. And even if they checked my DNA, no one in the family had my new DNA. Everything had changed. When I got home my wife didn't believe me, and my kids have both disowned me as an imposter. Yet I woke up in my own bed. I can't claim any benefits, I have made no contributions as Stephanie. Work refused to accept that I was the same person, and my workmates didn't accept that I was the person they knew. My driving license still says I am male. But now I have nowhere to go, and no money and no job. I may as well be a stateless person. 
Maybe if I go to sleep I will be the 62-year-old male again, but then again, maybe not. Well this looks like this is a cosmic cock-up. Is someone or something trying to tell me, it's time to move on, and make a fresh start? Who knows?